So SCP Roleplay just got their new update, which is a Discoveries update. And the main highlights from this update are the new Discovery systems, the SCP changes, and more. So let's go over them. So the new Discovery system is probably the biggest thing here. In the Scientific Department team, you're now given a tablet. Unlike the Admin Department slash O5 tablet, this tablet allows you to access the following. SCP testing, notes, stopwatches, logs, and discoveries. So let's go over to SCP testing first. So this new feature allows you to have a better vision slash understanding of which SCP you'll test on. Upon clicking the icon, you have a list of these SCPs. You can view the description of the SCP. They also have some research questions you may follow, the section of where the SCP is located, the level of clearance you need, and also a pretty cool feature that allows you to start the test. And guys, right off the bat, this feature will improve roleplaying by a lot, since you and the class team will be on the same page while testing. And I also like how there's an arrow indicator showing you where to go for easier navigation for newer players. And to my knowledge, some of these research questions are related to the discoveries you can make, which is on the discovery app on your tablet. For example, SCP-1025 has only one simple question, what diseases can be contracted from reading SCP-1025? And on the discovery app, there are 10 different types of discoveries you can find. And with that being said, let's talk about the discovery app. As you guys can see, every SCP has a certain amount of things for you to discover. I haven't completed any of them, but I do have an idea what they could be. Moving on to the notes page, I think they're pretty handy to have. You can use them as a guide for some roleplay purposes, or maybe just keeping notes for the future. There's also the stopwatch page here, which might be useful for testing on SCPs, such as SCP-409. You can time how long it takes for a class to get infected. Then we have logs, which I'm guessing are for the previous tests or for like the previous notes that you had before. And overall, this new tablet is very useful. Every feature it offers goes hand in hand, and this adds so many more layers to roleplaying. Let me join scientists and test on you people, let's do this. We also have this new tablet as well, you guys see this? We have some SCP testing, I'm guessing you click on them, then you uh, see some stuff. We have some notes here, we can probably uh, write some, some random stuff. Uh, we have some blogs, and we also have some discoveries. I think this is what that one badge was, you know what I'm saying? Oh! A few moments later. Can you see my bald head? Yes, I can see your bald head. Let's start the test, let's go 087, one more time. And then, uh, what do you call it? We're gonna do 001. Also, I'm getting shot. Yo, chill out. I'm getting shot. <gasps> oh my. So let's get into some of the new SCP changes. SCP-173 now creates more puddles, which means that the janitors will have to clean the containment more often. And according to this note here, which is located near SCP-096's containment, the SCP is now more aggressive. SCP-066 is also reworked. The SCP is more passive and allows for more in-depth testing. There are these new shears here you can use on the SCP. I guess it's just trigger it or make it aggressive. After playing around with the SCP for a bit, I was able to discover that there's these weird color things inside the SCP. <laughs> Moving on to SCP-457. The SCP now has some fireball projectiles it can throw at you, making the SCP more of a threat, but no worries since the Epsilon 11 team can recontain this guy with a fire extinguisher. And going back to the note that we just saw, SCP-079 also has some increased knowledge and claims to have fixed a fatal processing error. I don't really know what that means, but apparently this SCP now has some new dialogue. It also appears that the SCP-002 environment is a bit darker. You can also grab this new EMF reader to detect any SCP-002 entities near you. And there might be some new stuff inside this SCP, I'm not too sure. I guess we just have to find out. The SCP-001 also got a cool change. You can now shoot this limb projectile onto players to potentially infect players who are not infected already. And it also appears that SCP-999's pathfinding has also been fixed. And speaking about SCP-999 and SCP-131, you can actually recontain these guys a lot more easier by clicking on this bowl here. Let's go inside chat, let's go inside. I think you can get this thing. Yeah, let me get this EMF reader so you can uh, detect the props. And okay, I think everyone's chill here chat, I think all the classes are chill. Let's all go inside this SCP. Also wait, this place is actually pretty dark. Oh, some people fell off! Chat, some people are falling off the map here! But okay, according to this tablet, uh, SCP-002 has like, uh, three discoveries I can do. Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right! Okay, let's just go inside here. Also, a prop is right here, chat! Yo, someone shoot this prop here so then it doesn't, uh, doesn't do anything bad. Oh! Bro, where's this entity? I don't even see it, it's right there! Oh my goodness, these are 002 entities! 
Yo, chat, jump here, chat, jump here. The closest prop is 70 studs away. I don't know where that's at. But wait, chat, what do you do in like 002? I'm looking at discovery, but I'm not discovering anything. Maybe you had to like die to it or something. Click SCPs on tablets. 173 start test. Oh my goodness, I forgot to start test. Wait, chat, that's why it wasn't working. I forgot to start the test. But okay, let's do this thing again. We're gonna authorize all these class fees, right? We're gonna authorize all these guys. And then we're gonna go back to tablet, right? We're gonna do what? SCP? Then we're gonna start the test, chat. We're gonna start the test this time. Let's do this thing. Also, yo, I saw someone say English or Spanish. Neither of them, chat. Chat, this time I started the test, so that means we should get, like, some testing points, right? We should get testing points now because I started the test. We're actually getting it this time. Make a discovery. That means somebody should die to him. Chat, somebody has to die to him on purpose. Really, Nick? Dude, chat, I don't think we can make a discovery. Dude, there's so many people in here. This, this guy's, like, locked in. And apparently we're all infected with a 409 virus right now, bro! <laughs> oh my... Alright, now we're moving on to the miscellaneous stuff. Or pretty much the other stuff I want to mention. The game added these new rank perks. I think they're cool to have. Even though they might not do too much, it might get people to play rank more often. There's also these Prestige 3 Bullet Tracers, which I they look pretty cool, depending on the gun you have. Here's me shooting you with a minigun, you guys can literally see me spraying out there. There's also this new room near SCP-096, and it's called the Situation Room. Looks like there's Dr. John here, and also uh, Sakura, hopefully I'm saying that name right. And I'll show you guys the documents up on the screen right now, which has some pretty interesting information. It's definitely for like some lore purposes, or maybe some background about the SCPs. And guys, look at this document over here. You know how it's all black and everything? This might be hinting that an SCP-106 might come to the game very soon. There's also these new forklifts and crates added, which I'm guessing that shows the development of the facility. And there's also these new wooden areas as well, which I think is a cool touch to the facility look. And according to the updates pages here, you can now like the game and join the group in order to get the upgraded variant of security department. And medical department personnel can now vaccinate you as you're sitting, so no need to escort them all the way to the beds. The radio has also had some changes. With the new administrative radio channel, you switch between these two channels, and I think that's really good for role-playing. There's also these two new achievements, which I had no luck on getting. I think I made a video about it, and I think I'm pretty much wrong about everything in there, I'm not gonna lie. Also wait chat, what is this area here? Situation room? This is the thing that we just saw in the trailer, or like the, the thingy chat, right? I am a Dr. John, I'll be uh, assisting you with some stuff. And wait, what is this thing here? Yo, chat, that might be SCP-106. SCP-106, the leak right here, chat, look. And uh, what are these, some taxes? Okay, cool. And then some, some, some stuff being approved, and I just got shot, let's go. So that was the SCP roleplay discovery update. Overall, this new update brings so much more roleplay to the game, which I think is amazing. I love the new discovery system, the entire tablet, and how useful it is especially for the scientific department team. This thing might possibly make it so more people roleplay, instead of just PvP or RK, like me, not gonna lie. And also these new discovery things are really cool to have. And honestly, if I had to rate this update, I'd just give it an easy 10 out of 10. And boys, I can't wait to see more from this game. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed, please like the video, but if you didn't, please dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.